Hey guys, Mining King here. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Vertcoin, which is on the Verthash algorithm. And I want to show you two ways how to mine it. Um, I'm going to show you how to mine it off your gaming PC, and then I'm going to show you how to mine it at HiveOS. So, as well as I'm going to teach you one secret tip that if you're mining in HiveOS, how you can actually cut your power on your rig altogether by about 20 to 25 percent if you do this one tip so stay tuned and watch the whole video so you don't miss it so let's get right into it okay guys so the first thing i'm going to teach you is is going to be how to mine vertcoin on the pc so we went over to vertcoin.org and now we're going to click there. So the one thing I do like about Vertcoin is it's very easy to use. It's it's made for everyone and everyone to participate, you know, gamers to make some extra money and things like that. So let's you just click this. You're going to go over here to download the one click miner from their GitHub. So then so look they have all these different ones and this is that's 2.1 and this is 2.1 beta 4. So obviously this is the, oh, that one says it's a pre-release. Yep. So then we're going to go down here to Windows X64 zip. Okay. We're going to download that. Okay. Now you're going to want to open it in the folder that it's in because you're going to need to unzip this. Um, so we're going to extract. Okay, and and obviously your Windows is going to tell you, hey, watch out, beep, 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 hey, there's stuff on your computer. So this is what's this is something that you're going to have to decide if you're going to want to do this yourself or not. Is you're going to have to decide if you want to allow this miner on your computer. So that is the risk with mining on a personal rig, which I don't recommend, is mining on your personal rig. But you can um, just make sure you don't have like you know, credit cards saved on there and stuff like that. Cause if you do, I wouldn't recommend doing this. That's just me. You could do whatever you want, uh, but you're going to have to allow these through the windows defender. So then you have to start the actions. Okay. Because all mining software is flagged as malicious, just so you know. Um, so then we're going to double click on the vert coin. All right, guys. So we're back here. And, um, as you can see, as soon as it's done verifying all your stuff, it will start mining. Um, so right now our expected earnings with um, 407 kilohashes, and this is just on a stock 580. I'm not, this isn't an overclocking video. If you want me to do an overclocking video, put a comment down below and I'll do an overclocking video. Um, but our expected earnings for one day for just one RX 580 is about one 0.17 vert so you're getting one coin a day if you're just using your graphics card you know what i mean and this is an old 580 so if you got like a 3080 or a 3070 on here you're gonna get way more than that and you know what i mean you could just mine it while while you're sleeping and make some money you know for nothing and you could just these are coins that you could just hold on to and hodl them so that way they'll be worth more money down the road and like i said this is easy you go to their site you download the miner and the miner, and then you make your passwords for your, for your, for your wallet and automatically starts mining. It's literally the easiest mining software I've ever seen to come out. That's just, it's just like one click and you're done. I love the simplicity. They're trying to get people involved. They don't want anyone to feel left out or that it's too technical or difficult. So it's a great feature. Okay. So that is how to mine Vertcoin on your, personal PC, gaming PC, or editing PC, whatever have you. Um, so now we're going to get into how to mine this in Hive OS. Okay, so in Hive, you're gonna have to go to your flight sheets. Okay, you're gonna need to go to your flight sheets. So once you're in your farm, you're gonna need to go to your flight sheets. So you go to your flight sheets and it's right there up top. You need to go to coin, go to VTC, and then you're going to go to your wallet. Now, you can set up a wallet at vert, you know? So if you go right back to where we went to uh, get our, our uh, so we go back to vertcoin.org and then you just click download wallet 
and you make a wallet just with the simple password it'll sync up and then you have a wallet it's extremely easy to use in the file let's go back over to our hive os so we're in our flight sheet okay uh we're gonna have to we're gonna wait for our wallet okay but i'm just gonna say hey we're gonna use the ledger now now just to keep moving on the video so next we need to pick our pool and this is pretty big because um i try to use mining pool hub which is the biggest um mining pool they have the the highest amount of hash power for mining vert right so i was thinking that maybe the the it would be a better profitability for me because they're obviously they're getting more coins right but then again it's being split amongst more people so but i so anyways i try to use mining pool hub you have to download this file and change it and uh i tried that didn't work um i think it's more geared so if you want to mine to mining pool hub you know um on hive os i don't know how to do that if somebody does know how to do that put a comment down below and let me know how to do it because i tried it for a couple hours and i just gave up so i ended up going with hash a lot which is it's still like the third biggest pool so and i've been doing pretty good um i'm getting about seven vert 7.1 vert you know per day off my 6 16 60 supers so we're going to click on hash a lot and they are a they're the only as far as i know u.s based uh vert uh pool so they're the third largest pool so great now when you come over to the miner though you, you either have to pick srb miner which is a multi-miner which is for amd uh graphics cards and cpus or you need to use the vert hash miner just for gpus so um you're kind of limited in the miners you can use so you can't use like t-rex which i love or lol miner or team red miner or any of the really good solid miners on here because they don't support this particular algorithm so um your little that's the one thing you are limited to on vert coin is the actual miners themselves they want you to use their vert hash miner so you just click on the vert hash miner you would click then create flight sheet which i already have one and then what you want to do is you want to go to your worker, right? So now um, I'm on, so I'll go to one of my other workers, right? So if I was if I already had a worker working, all I would do is is I would go over up to stop miner, and then I would go to you know, and then I would click on flight sheets, and then I would come down to my vert flight sheet, and I would click the little rocket symbol, wait for it to update. And then I would just click restart miner and give it a couple minutes to load up the miner and connect to the pool. And then you should start seeing some vert. Um, so I did say at the end of this video, I was going to show you how to decrease your power by at least a quarter with in Hive OS when you're mining vert coin. So when you're in here mining vert coin, if some of you haven't already figured out uh, or even know this about NVIDIA cards. If you're if you're a pretty avid miner, you probably already know about this feature. But if you're new to mining, you may not know about this feature. Okay. So a while back, I think it was sometime in the summer, if I remember right, that uh, Hive OS came out with an update for Absolute Core. So that's so right now, if you just set your memory and you don't set your cores to the specific thing, they kind of just fluctuate up and down, right? So what you're actually doing is is you're actually locking that core and making it stay there on that on the actual core not the memory on the core um so i did absolute core to 1050 for absolute core on my 1660 supers and these things were eating about 80 to 85 mega hash on some of these cards and um for some of them that needed a little more power than others so look at this 65 63 69 70 60 59 in the software for a 1660 super so that is just 59 that is ridiculous i have never seen a gpu that low of wattage in hive and actually you know doing quite well like actually hashing well so um and as you see my rig has not gone down um so anyways guys this is this is we have to start thinking about this we have to start thinking about what we're gonna mine after proof of stake with ethereum because it's it's gonna come you have to 
you have to take a shot. So this is the secret is is to mine when the profitability is down and when the net, network hash hash rates down, the difficulty is down, so the yields of the coin are more. That is how you mine. So um, I'm gonna start doing that now um, since all my gears all paid off. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, hit the like, share, and subscribe button there. And uh, remember, this is the Mining King here, the channel that will give you the most hashes.